Hi, I'm Peter from Coffee Parts and today we're looking at the Eureka Special Eater. The Eureka Special Eater. Now this grinder sits in the middle of the Eureka lineup of home grinders. You've got the Manuali and the Silencio, below it you've got the Special Eater and then above it you've got the Oro line which is the XL and the single dose. And this sits smack bang in the middle. So this grinder is a home grinder on a very small footprint using 55 mil blades. And it's really simple to use, not only to dial in both from the grind perspective, but also from the time. So effectively what you have here is a grind adjustment that's on a worm drive. So when you're adjusting this, it's adjusting the bottom blade up and down and it takes very minute movement to adjust the grinder. So it's not only stepless, but you can really dial it in to that nth degree. This grinder does do both espresso and filter, like the whole range of the Eurekas, but to move from espresso to filter does take a few revolutions. So it can be a little bit tricky to move one to the other, but it does grind the full spectrum from espresso all the way to filter, AeroPress, Mocha Pot and Cold Brew. So it can be one grinder. However, like I said, moving from one to the other can be a little bit tricky. From the menu perspective, it's the same menu that it features on the XL, which is the next level up, and it's super simple. You've got your single and double, and you can adjust by one tempo per second either way. If you wanted to grind on demand, you just hit both, and now you're grinding as that button's pressed. You go back in here. If you want to lock in so no one can press the screen, you can just hit those two, and you're locked in like nothing happens. You can unlock it the same way. And while it is grinding down, you can pause. So if you pull out the porter filter, it will stop. And you can push it back in to continue if you need to collapse down that body of coffee. One other thing, part of the Eureka range from here and above, they are quite quiet for home grinders. Like all grinders, they will make noise, but on the scheme of things, they are quiet. And you can not only use it with your porter filter, you can use it with a dosing cup and it is adjustable. So you can adjust the screw here to bring the height up and down to adjust whatever porter filter you have. So this is going to grind out a double shot worth of coffee and collapse it halfway through so you can see the workflow. Just get your porter filter and lock it in. And it grinds, it is hands free. If you want it to stop it halfway, you can. So collapse it down a little bit and keep going. and you've got your double shot worth of coffee. Now you can easily remove that fork if you want to, to just say use a dosing cup. You just bring it up and forward and pull it out. And now you could, if you wanted to grind to say into a dosing cup, just hit that button there and grind away. Dosing cups have become quite popular because they're a little bit neater and it allows you to then turn it into your porter filter and distribute it quite evenly. One other thing to note, and this is a personal thing of mine, most people are using a double basket at home. It's a lot easier to extract the double basket because you've got bigger surface area in the bottom and the water and coffee travels a lot more consistently. Now, because you're using a double, a lot of times you're not using a single. So what I like to do is bring it down to just say half to one second, something around that mark, and use a single as a purge. In a cafe environment or busy environment, you're always making coffee, so the coffee's always fresh. In a home grinder, you might only be making coffee in the morning and then not making another coffee till the next morning. There's always a small amount of coffee pre-ground that sits around the blades and out the chute. And effectively, when you are grinding, a small percentage of your coffee, let's say if you grind 20 grams, it might be two grams, so 10% of your coffee, will be pre-ground or oxidized coffee. To increase that level of consistency and really get the best out of the grinder and be grinding fresh, you can run a small grinder as a single, just to purge out, basically grind fresh and push out some of that pre-ground, chuck it out and then your next shot is fully fresh. So an example of that might be, grinding out a small amount, one second, and then hitting it back into double and now grinding out your amount. And that ensures the freshest coffee possible. There are grinders like the Eureka Single Dose that 
you pre-weigh your coffee and only grind out that amount, but the workflow is a little bit different. And we have done a video comparing the workflow of grind on demand with the workflow of single dose grinders, and you can watch that video here. But going back to this grinder, it does sit in the middle of the Eureka range, and it really is the perfect home grinder for most people. Now at a level where you're getting a very consistent grind, the particle size is very well distributed, so you're not gonna get a lot of clumping or channeling, and the price point is fair. There is better grinders as you go up the ranks, like the Eureka XL, but for most, this grinder sits in the middle and is a really fair home grinder, and probably one of the best home grinders to pair up with, just say, a Rock and a Pertimento or Gadget Classic, something of that level. The Eureka Special Leader comes in three colors, black, white, which we have here, and chrome. Two other things that really help with your grinder is having proper coffee storage. So whether you're buying coffee just for what you're gonna consume that week in a Ziploc bag or using a coffee storage container, it really helps by not allowing oxygen in and not allowing light in. With a hopper, it's nice to keep the beans just up to around about here. So you've got enough coffee in there to push the weight through, but not too much coffee that's oxidizing. This hopper does hold 300 grams, so you can put a 250 gram bag of beans in here. You're better off storing it in here, taking the oxygen out, and then when you need to use it, use it pouring it in. And the other tool that comes in really handy is a scale. Whether it's a kitchen scale or something like this, a Kaya scale, you can weigh out your coffee. So after you've ground, check what the weight is. And if you're consistent between shot, you remove one variable. Sometimes grinders do vary by 0.3 of a gram. And sometimes between shots, you don't know if it's your adjustment or the grinder. So having a consistent or one less variable really does change the game. Just having a grinder is epic. And if you wanna take it one step further, these two items really do help. In saying that, we have done a review on the entry-level Eureka, the Eureka Manuale, which you can watch here. And we have done a review on the next level Eureka, the XL and the single dose, which you can also watch here. If you have any questions for me regarding the special leader, if so, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know which grinder are you using. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up and please subscribe. See you on the next video.